Hello, everybody. This is Brandon Restless, your mortgage guy. I encourage you to leave questions in the comment section or email me or go to my website, give me a call, text me, whatever, if you have a question. And then to hit the subscribe button if you find this video useful, okay? So we're gonna talk about what the worst thing is that could happen to you as a potential borrower, okay? As a potential homeowner, right? You go to the bank, you give the bank what they say you need for a pre-approval, or you go to the broker, and you give them what they say you need, and they come back and give you a pre-approval letter, right? That pre-approval letter says you're well positioned as, as a buyer in the market, and you give that to your realtor and they make an offer on a home that you really want. Like you looked into this home, it's in the price range you were pre-approved for. You really want it, right? You went in, you fell in love with it. You make an offer, the selling realtor accepts that offer, right? Good news, you're on the path, right? And then you get the sales contract. You give that back to the lender. They start the whole process to get you to the closing table. And part of that is underwriting. And underwriting will come back with conditions. But the bad news is that loan originator didn't actually look at your profile in detail because they didn't ask for enough upfront. They didn't look for the weak spots in your profile. And the underwriter does all that work, right? And so they come back with these conditions you have to meet to get the loan and you can't meet them. You can't meet them. And so since you can't meet them, you have to tell the realtor, Hey, I got to withdraw that offer. We're not really positioned right now to do what we thought we could because we got the pre-approval. And so my tip to you today in avoiding that is to make sure one, you're working with a loan originator that believes in your yes in an honest way. Every client I've ever met is a potential yes, but they might not be a yes when they're sitting in front of me right now, or we're on a Zoom call. They might need six months to be a yes. They might need three months. They might need nine months. They might need a year, right? They might need three years, right? They might need a plan. They might need someone to seriously look at their file before it gets that far and say, hey, look, these products require this qualification. And if I submit this application to the underwriter, which I can, they're going to want you to make sure you meet these minimum qualifications. And if you can't meet them today, the best thing I can do is give you a plan, right? Instead of a pre-approval letter, instead of false hope, because that is where the home buying process gets super stressful. <laughs> Is that false hope instead of an honest answer? So not to be Debbie Downer, but I believe every client I've ever met is a potential yes. There are a bunch of loan officers out there and loan originators who believe that the client sitting in front of them is, is a potential yes. They might not be yes today, but they're worth working with. They're worth mentoring. They're worth helping develop a plan because one day they're going to get that yes. And one day they're going to be homeowners and, and one day they're going to have something to celebrate and they're going to have that open house and they're going to have all their friends over and they're going to have a great time. But we don't want to create that false impression and give that pre-approval letter based on not really doing due diligence and not really looking at the full profile, not necessarily taking in those docs and those items that are required to make a real assessment, the credit scores, et cetera, to make a real assessment of who you are as a borrower so that we can have an honest conversation about where you stand on that path to yes. Hey, this is Brandon Respers, your mortgage guy. Thank you for watching the, the video. If you found it useful, hit that subscribe button and make two other promises today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll make another video to answer your questions. And then the third promise is to believe in your path to yes. Every person on this planet has a path to yes. You just got to believe in it. You got to pursue it. Have a great day. Take care.